Today is Wednesday, February 15th, 2023. Today, I, I didn't think today would ever arrive. Um, you know what came in the mail? The Think Mods thing from the guy on the place. This is uh, like two years coming. I got, I placed the order in um, October, no, November of 2020. And then um, in November of 2021, I was asked to update my shipping address because they were shipping soon. And now it's, it's, it's February, 2023, um, which is, you know, two, two years later. So let's open it and and look at this marvel of custom vintage recreation. I'm not sure what you'd call it. Creating accessories for devices that have long ago surpassed their business life and are now, frankly, in the collector scene only. A heartfelt message instructions and inside is uh my address so i don't show you that um there he says um that to solder the led um into the chassis that you want and they didn't solder it because it was uh easier to get stuff shipped out so wow like he did a great job on all the packaging material um the instructions um i like i like the the branding on this went above and beyond what was uh, probably necessary. Um, let's just take a, a peek ski. So we've got a Think Mods sticker. So that goes on your device. Put that on the ThinkPad. Gives you a screwdriver. The express card to NVMe with a part number quick start guide on how to do the things. And then we've got the requisite itty bitty, oh dear, itty bitty LED and some screws, some very, very tiny screws. We have two chassis, which are a nice Looks like an injection molded plastic, just looking at it from far away here. Uh, does appear to be injected molded. It says it's ABS, at least on this one. Yeah, these are both some sort of ABS. A um, little bit of a weird finish on the corner, but that's fine. It's not a critical thing. Um, it has nice brass inserts. Let's uh, zoomulate, give you a better view of the fit and finish very nice and that's where those little tiny screws are going to get used and then the final is the uh the actual soiket void oh i gotta slice right that open as well and it's a circuit board with, is this a branded micro SD card? I believe so. It's difficult to get out, but I believe it says Think Mods in there. So that's got like a. Um, I'm going to leave that in there. It might be glued or something. Or maybe. Oh no, this has got a locking um, thing. But. <laughs> wow! Over the top with the branding. That's great. Um, so that's uh, how this whole thing is enabled. Um, you have a bootloader on there, and then you have an NVMe. Um, this is only good for a um, M key, I believe, because um, it's it's NVMe. A little switch for the light on off, and then this slots into your Express Card slot uh, on your laptop. Um, so that will only work with a certain series of ThinkPads. I've got two of them, one of them with me, and that would be the 540 series. 
So the, the T540 and the W540. And so over here by the um, USB ports and the um, SD card slot, they have what's called Express Card. And that's where the, um, the 34, 35, 30 something millimeter one goes. Um, and then there's, oh, that would actually go, the, the edge connector would go in that direction. Um, and then on the X230, I, I, I want to say that they have a, a wider um, slot on the X230. Um, it, I think it's also on the T4 series, basically fourth gen um, and a, and a uh, I don't know off the top of my head, but definitely on the fourth gen CPUs, possibly on the third gens. But I think they started phasing it out right at that point because um, I don't think it's on many other devices. Um, kind of went out, out the window when um, USB 3 and I don't know why they got rid of it. it just wasn't really needed. Um, wasn't popular. And yes, it says it says it's an Amphenol connector for a dot a dot M. Did you know that um, Amphenol is actually one of their their HQ is in Wallingford, Connecticut. So I've driven by the building. Um, cool. Well, uh, I guess I'll I'll um, assemble this right quick in a hurry and um, um, put an NVMe in there. And I'll just point out, if you just try and stick a 28 or whatever size this thing is, a standard size NVMe, you're not going to be able to. This is going to be inserted and it's going to be sticking out the side of the laptop. Um, not that this is particularly the one that I'm, I'm going to be using, but it's the one that I have right at the moment. Um, and it is uh, like a $12 cheapo uh, Kioxia, which is uh, the, one of those brands. Um, and it's not, it's not very well affixed inside of there. So, um, you know, I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to leave it hanging for now. That's, that's adequate. Um, but you'd use a, um, the NVMe of the right size or put a, um, a spacer or 3D print something or, or whatnot to get it to be the correct size there. And then we do the itty bitty screwing. Itty bitty bitty. Itty bitty bitty. Oh dear, these screws are ultra tiny. Um, where is this alignment? There he is. This is difficult. Okay, there we go. A little bit of clear plastic tape to hold it in place for the time being. Um, uh, let's put it in a laptop. So we've got the W541. Um, it does have a hard drive in it or a, an SSD in it right now. And an SSD has got Nix OS on it. So if it doesn't boot the right way, then we'll know right away because it's booting. Um, so this SSD does not have an operating system currently on it. So... Let me just adjust my camera and let's see what happens when we go to boot it up. So I'm going to try and boot from the um, bootloader thing. See what it gives us. So it's got my SSD and then it's, it's um, I'm assuming that that little SD card is presenting as a generic storage device. I don't think anything's going to happen. Welcome to Clover. Oh, wow. Boot from a whole disk. Boot from the Clover CD. I don't know how this works. I'm going to have to, like, read. So we go to thinkmods.store slash support. Okay, so this is called Clover, and this is the boot menu that you get from that micro SD card. Um, I've got an operating system on here, Nix OS, that we're going to attempt to install on here onto the NVMe. And so I'm going to, um, I forgot to plug this in. Logged in, plug it in. Um, now we'll boot from Clover again. I love uh, additional branding, Think Mods. Um, now it'll show us the disk I just plugged in, Nixos. So we'll boot that up. 
I mean, at this point, that's all you have to do to use the, the um, included Clover installer is just put your installation media in alongside of it. If you want to create your own Clover, that's like apparently a whole other thing with a USB drive that lets you uh, boot from an NVMe. Um, let's see if this is going to work. That doesn't seem to work. I'm going to just try Ubuntu instead. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's better. There we go. We're going to install Ubuntu. And we'll say just continual. And sure. Oh, snap. I forgot to install third party options. There we go. And continue. Oh, uh, I should have taken out my other drive. Um, otherwise, it's going to be a little confused. Um, uh, um, your mileage may vary. I, if you're worried about if you've got a disk inside, just take it out. Um, I, I'm okay with uh, taking a risk. Uh, will it even let me? I can't quit. Merg. So I'm creating a new partition table on the NVMe drive. And will it let me install it now to the device's free space? Format it first. There, we had to partition it, format it. Now we can. Uh... <laughs> I, I'm just gonna unplug my drive and we'll get back to this point. Okay, SSD removed. So uh, I don't exactly know what is going on, but my W541's screen isn't coming on anymore but fortunately i got an l440 and i just uh removed its ssd so we're just going to do the same thing um this one's got the wider 54 55 whatever um but you can still just slide the card in it's supposed to use the proper one but it's just got a little bit of a gap that's fine um so i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna plug it into power and such okay we're basically in the same same setup, plug in the oozb into the thing where the thing goes. Let's see if it works now. So, temporary boot device, USB hard drive, and we're going to go for generic storage because the SanDisk is the one with the other OS. So we get into Clover. This boots a little faster. And we're going to boot from Ubuntu. And then we're going to um, go to try or install just to follow the same process. There we go. Install. Okay. And now we should be able to um, do the thing with the thing and the stuff. Yes, it sees the whole disk, and I, I don't have to pick anything. Careful. You did stuff. There's things on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, <laughs> what are we going to use for a username? Don't, don't peek at my, my keys. And don't tell anybody that it's a weak password.
Copulating files. Okay. We'll just wait and see. Okay, installation is complete. I'm going to do the restart. And I'm going to unplug the USB media. I'll go ahead and... Did it, did it reboot? I don't really understand. Full power cycle. No USBs, just the card. And boot Ubuntu. Da na 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 da na 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 na. Nice. Okay. That's cool. Oh, I don't need any of that. Get out of get out of here. Um, and now let's do um, bu, 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 uh, LS BLK. So we've got the NVMe, and that's where our install is at. Goodness, you can't read that. There. Um, and uh, what else would you want to know about this machine? I mean, this is a terrible. Uh, dang it. Um, There, um, i7 4712MQ at 3.3 gigahertz. Um, doesn't say anything about the the storage, but um, we know that it is uh, NVMe because it comes up with that right there. And that um, does it show up in here somewhere? Uh, ba -ba Non-Viotel Memory Controller, Coxia. Da, da, da. So, yeah, and um, it's a terrible SSD, so it's not terribly fast. Um, if you want one that fits into the drive bay properly, you want, um, I don't know the exact SSD sizes. Let's see if we can find an image. I think you want the either the 2242... I don't think the 2260 is going to fit. I think a 60 millimeter is way too big. I think this is the the size that you want. And the um, the Rocket Nano 2242. Yeah, that thing. That's that's a good drive for this. Um, 60 bucks, 70 bucks. Not bad, you know. Um, cool. All right. Um, yeah. I, I really. This is two years late, but it is a cool product. Product. Um, and. Uh, that's how you can get an NVMe drive in your less than recent um, ThinkPad. Um, I, I can't guarantee you're going to actually get one because um, it took me two years, but maybe they're shipping faster now. Who knows? Um, really nice guy. Just got backlogged. <laughs> uh, subscribe? What What happened to my... Other laptop, though. 